using our two pieces of cardstock that are stuck together to make our cover. So you can see from here, there's a solid white line down here. This is where the top piece of cardstock joins the bottom one. And the dotted line here actually shows the outside seam here on the cardstock on the, on the good side. This is important because when you have your spine, you need to make sure that the centre point of your spine corresponds with the outer seam on the outside, not on the inside. So I've marked the centre of my spine and I've also marked my little mark there. It's also helpful if you have a long ruler. I'm actually using a magnetic craft sheet by We Are Memory Keepers, which comes with a ruler, a metal ruler, so it snaps on nicely. And it's also handy the mat for later for keeping hold of your magnets. <coughs> I'm going to use Colal glue. <coughs> this time I'm using, I'm using Colal all-purpose glue, <coughs> which sticks well and gives you a bit of wiggle room. But obviously you need to give it time to dry before you use, do the next piece. So we'll line this up. Need to be approximately the same depth each side of cardstock and this is when I take my ruler and just pop it along just so that's going to hold and stay in place and you can see it's fixed quite firmly. <coughs> so I'll let my spine stick there like that. <coughs> and then your shims come into play. So these are what are used to create a gap between each piece. So we'll take our back cover now, if we stuck it like that and butted it up, there would be no hinge for the album cover. So you always want to have <coughs> a gap in between. First of all, we'll go with a single shim. So we'll butt that up there. And that would be a nice equal aperture all the way down. But you can see that it's not very wide and it really needs to be wider for an album cover. So we'll try a double shim. And the double shim it up, push it in, <clears throat> and you can see that's a better, a better fit. If you still think you're going to struggle with that, stick your spine down, run a line of quarter inch tape down the side here, so the quarter inch will come out to here, and then your album will be there like that. Your gap will be slightly larger, but if that's the easiest way for you to do it, that's fine. <clears throat> so we've stuck this one. I'm going to take our double shim, I'm going to take our back cover, and again I'm going to use Collal. You can use Collal book binding glue, which is a PVA um, specifically for book binding. You need to apply it, I would recommend applying it with a brush so you have a smooth application all over, and it's much, much quicker grab than this Collal, so you have to be more accurate with it. But this one is fine. So we'll use that using our ruler to hold it all in place. Push that down. Now we'll take the spine out. Oops, and you can see I've moved it there. Just go back in with your shim. Okay, and I'll leave it there to settle for a minute. <coughs> While that's happening, I can put the glue on my other piece of cover. Sorry, this bit truly is like watching paint dry, but in this case, it's watching glue dry. Okay, so we'll take our shim, pop it there, butt it up, and there you can see it's all joined. So that fits in nicely there, and that one fits in nicely there. Leave it to dry now. <coughs> you can see at this stage, it's stuck nicely. You might just want to turn your cardstock over and just lightly go over with a, a brayer, but not very hard and don't go over the edges, just to lightly press it down a bit more. Turn it back.